let's just start in the front corner. Let's do it. Okay, we got Kurt from Cruiser Outfitters and we got some sweet rigs to go over with you here. Tell us about it. This is a Mega Cruiser. So this is a Toyota Mega Cruiser. Kind of one of the rarest of the rarest Toyota 4x4s in existence. This is a 1996 model. It's a BXD20. Uh, they're really neat. So you can instantly look at it. You'll see it has a lot of similarity like a Humvee. And that's no surprise because we are a partner nation with Japan. Our militaries do a lot together. And the, the Mega Cruiser was developed in a similar fashion for their military. So this is a civilian version. It makes it even more rare in the 300-ish that were ever made in the civilian mode. But they made a lot of them in a military form. So much like uh, the, the Humvee, it's got portal reduction hubs, independent suspension all the way around. This one has locking disc front and rear as well as a, a center locking diff. It has CTIS, so you can air up and air down the rear tires from inside the cab. That was mostly done for uh, hauling a trailer for load in the back. And the military ones come in a troop carrier configuration. This one does have a second row bench. So really cool trucks. It's very cool. Four liter, four cylinder diesel. So it's not like insane power, but it's a tractor. It's a land cruiser. It just does its thing. Yeah, let's take a look at the inside. Let's yeah, uh, yeah, come on in. Give us the layout this is of the kind inside. Kind of the uh, the wrong side of it, if you will, but it's wild how far apart you sit. Right hand drive. Let's see. Let's get a good view of yeah, this. Yeah, you can barely fist bump as you sit there from side to side, and it's really a Spartan interior. They were low production, so you know, there wasn't a whole lot of design effort. Just made a military vehicle into a civilian version. Very nice. Let me get a shot from in here. Yeah. Part in the groceries. Oh yeah, this is the, this is uh, the fun, fun part. That's where you stack all the good stuff. So this is the front there. Yeah, very cool. You never see these. I think this is the first time I've seen one in person. So. Yeah, they are oh. kind of the rarest of the rare. There's uh, this is probably the only civilian one in the United States. Wow. Well, this me... belongs to the Land Cruiser Heritage Museum in Salt Lake. So this is part of the permanent collection. And this, this one was important. Land Cruiser Heritage Museum. The Land right? Cruiser Heritage Museum, yep. Okay. So I'd invite all of you to come check it out there. It's a fantastic museum, wonderful collection of all things Land Cruisers. And we have our Cruiser Fest event coming up on September 8th. So this will kind of be the main ship of the uh, Cruiser Fest this year since it's one of the newest of the collection. Yeah, is, can we get the back open? Let's you maybe get a good view from that for people that have never seen one of these before. One giant hatch. Look at that. It's got a lot of room. You can store all the Overland gear that you want in here, huh? Everything you need <laughs> in there. And then wow. That is very cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, no, we're Let's just do a walk around on this one just to get uh, some good side images. Sorry about that. Sick, huh? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> All right, Kurt, and let's let's get this one over here. All right, let's uh, so take a look at the next this is next vehicle. BJ74. So this is also a Japan import truck. This came from uh, Land Cruisers Direct, who imports these. They uh, do a wonderful job of selecting some really clean specimens. This one's got factory locking front and rear diffs. It's got a four cylinder, it's called a 13 BT turbo diesel. So it's a 3.4 liter and it motors, it does just fine. It's an auto, so it robs up a little power, but uh, this thing motors down the highway nice. It's got a, like a high pinion eight inch that's been swapped in. Other than that, it's mostly the uh, factory drivetrain. Wow, let's take a look at this one too. Let's get some good uh, yeah, exterior and interior. ARB bumper, old man emu suspension, and this is kind of my my personal trail truck that I use for a lot of trail rides. Just the perfect size. It's a little shorter, smaller than like a 200 series, so tighter trails. Uh, you can kind of see by the patina on it that it gets used in the trees. And uh, yeah, it's super capable, short wheelbase, so it climbs uh, pretty well. Get a good side shot here to get the whole vehicle. Yeah, very fun. It looks like Kurt likes the right hand drives too. They're... I don't mind the right hand <laughs> drives. Yeah, they're, I certainly don't mind. It's, uh, it's fun to drive, and I found that it doesn't really limit anywhere you can go. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We get a shot on the back over here. It's a little messy in the back. But, uh, I love all, out of it here, so. all the Japanese. Uh, uh, logos and everything you've got on there. And also, like, Let's see. Wow. 
All right, and we got the, this one over here, right? This is Bryce's, yeah, so that one's not mine. Okay, but still very cool. Yeah, still a, <laughs> a beautiful US spec. This is a URJ 200. Okay. 200 series Land Cruiser, it's the current generation, current model. It had a little bit of uh, sheet metal refresh on the 16 and newer, but the same motor, tranny, and drivetrain. So yeah, just a good one. This has got an old man emu suspension, a little bit of tire wheel, and just like a nice clean build. And the TRD off-road uh, version of this vehicle. Uh, Maybe well, one day, we hope. Fingers crossed. <laughs> nothing, nothing official yet. Yeah. So one day, we hope. Let's take a look at the inside. These are always very comfortable and nice. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are nice. Oh, you know, he's got it locked. Oh, all right. Maybe we'll just do it through yeah, here. He's keeping us out. Yeah. I don't blame him. <laughs> don't want anyone uh, getting sweaty, sweaty fingerprints on his leather. Yeah. Okay. So uh, the best way for people to get information on your racing team, on cruiser outfitters and all that, I know you, you got a, a huge suite of uh, talents and hobbies that you have. So A lot of irons in the uh, fire. I don't know about what, talents, but... Where can people contact you for uh, each one of those Kangaroo Racing, we're on Facebook, Instagram, and we do have a website, kangaroo-racing.com. Uh, cruiser Outfitters is the same, Instagram, Facebook, and cruiseroutfitters.com. So we're pretty easy to find through those means, and uh, always love hearing back from people. Awesome, and then on the racing website, what type of content do you post on there? Uh, we'll do like uh, race reports. A lot of it has been more driven on Facebook and Instagram lately. It's just easy to keep in touch with all our, our followers that way, but the probably the easiest way to keep tabs on us is Facebook. Yeah, and then Cruiser Outfitters, that's for uh, parts? And parts, yeah, we do, all the fun uh, stuff. we service parts, yeah, parts and accessories, installations on anything Land Cruiser old through new. We're very proficient on anything from 20 series Land Cruisers all the way to 200s. We're building a lot of those. And we do our fair share of, uh, you know, Forerunners, Tacomas, Tundras as well. Um, not kind of our mainstay as far as parts, but when it comes to accessories like bumpers, snorkels, winches, lift kits, we know our way around those really well too. Excellent. Well, we're glad to have you here. Anything else you want to add in? That's it. Got Thanks it. for having us. Great we, show. Yeah, we, we've got a lot of good content in here. So Great. we'll uh, share that with everybody that they can get to make it. So. Awesome. Well, thank you.